and I care before we get going. Thank you for Finally. doing the tracking. Thank you, Iker, for the tracking. Final Fantasy Randomizer, here we go. The Lanian Ladder. This is for Opal Ranking. This is going to be great, everybody. I am Ozloto, joined in the booth by Sonny Wrath, and as you heard, Ikear is doing our tracking for us. Oh, do we have something for you that we don't even know what's happening. This is... Wait, huh? there's a thing happening? There's a thing happening. Sonny, there's a thing happening, and it's blind. I mean, totally blind. We don't even know what the seed is. But... I mean, the most we know is that there are two blessings and two malices on the characters, and... That's right, we know that. So, Sonny, why don't, you, why don't you give us a preview of what we're dealing with here? And, <laughs> oh, and, boy. And, and more importantly, why don't we see a black mage on there? <laughs> well, we'll get to we'll get to that with what we're dealing with here, because uh, we're going to open up with these blursings here. The Thief, as you see on both sides, has plus 20 MDEF, resists death and poison, but... Loses 15 HP and 20 Agi. We don't even know if the Thief has the Agi bonus turned on. We don't know. The Fighter has 20, plus 25 Agi and equips shirts, but has 30 less HP. And everybody loses 150 GP. <laughs> so yeah, that 400 has now become 250. Yep. But let's go to the White Mage. With plus 10 hit percent and plus 800 GP, that's now 1,050 GP. Downside, though, no heal three and cannot equip pro rings. That pro ring. Oh, dear. And then the red mage. This one's the one that hurts a bit. Plus 50% XP and plus 15 luck. No cure three and minus four max MP. So every single spell to, or spell level is going to have a maximum of five charges. Now, the reason the Black Mage wasn't taken here <laughs> is because of one malice in particular, and that is no fast. Yes, it is not an option for many, and not shown on stream is, of course, the Black Belt, which had a plus Thief Sword, plus 10 MDEF, with a malice of no bracelets and five luck. Now, the reason that we tell you this is because as we don't know what the flags are, there is a chance that if they promote, it could be random class change. Now, on top of that, there could be inverted MDEF, and it looks like both runners are off. Oh, we have Town Shuffle. Town Shuffle we is. We can already tell that right off the bat. There are recruits available as well as the pubs are turned on. Wow, here Little we go. Two spells. We see Cure Fog Lamp and Invis 1. Eh, well, that's not good. Black Magic. Let's see what Ale finds. Uh, lit 3, Bane, and Dark. Okay, not too bad. Lit 3, always nice to see. Good sweeper right off the bat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't even know if there was a piece of caster gear on the start. There is a white mage available for hire in the pub of Provoca. Oh, there's the stop stick being sold. <laughs> okay, it was a stop stick. I mean, that's still not too bad. No. And Ordeals. No charges of lit three. Ordeals is in Corneria Castle. And Windfox. Oh dear. Did not save at the inn before going. Uh, this is a party draft. Yes, it appears to be. So the Black Mage was never even an option, it appears. No, it was not. Meanwhile. And it looks like Ale's already got a dead character. Yeah. Several dead characters. So, Yeesh. So imps uh, have stun, which is very unpleasant. So he's going back to the weapon shop. I mean, a wind fox. Uh oh, I see trap chests. Oh, I and see trap chests. I see. <gasps> the crown's required. Early ordeals not turned on. Oh, that makes me wonder if early sages is off now. That makes me wonder if early everything is off. Windfox forgot to save again. Ayo, hey, meanwhile, uh, trudging through this. Okay, so we're going over the bridge. Oh, no, the bridge is free. He's killing... Okay, he's getting rid of... He's trying to get some experience, I assume? Oh, he's, yeah, sw he's... swinging that staff! Staves are good. Yeah, right now. And, it's, and it was a preemptive strike. 
Oh, Wind Fox has discovered lethal damage tiles oh. are on, and the marsh counts as lethal. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's what got him the first time. It wasn't a reset. He, it was the damage tiles. It was the damage tiles. Wow. That's amazing. Dark Moon, you have given us some fun tonight. Meanwhile, Ale's still swinging her little stabs around. Yeah, and we don't know how much damage those tiles are. Ike, you're pointing out he is correct. We don't know. Yeah, there's, there's got to be some high damage. Oh, yeah. Because it's only a few steps, and then he's just straight dead. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that means those are doing two... Oh, no, 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 no. Those are doing, like, five to six damage a pop. Here's a question. Oh, gosh. That makes Volcano super lethal. But here's an interesting question, because if you notice that Ale has not brought back up his, uh, his fighter, although he should be able to... <sighs> Do the pubs not have clinic power? The pubs absolutely do have clinic power. I think... And the question is, why didn't he res? I, mean, uh, I it... think he's just going for a three-man. Risky, risky, but he, he manages to punch through the pirates, or lightning through the pirates, and get five dollars for his trouble. Oh... <laughs> Bravo! Oh, that is... that is fantastic. Okay, Wind Fox, meanwhile, going back in. Ale gonna check... This is... This is just evil, I love it. I rolled it, but I did not craft it. So, Ale gonna save up. Alright. Oh, no, we're gonna get rid of some more imps. Nope, running away from the imps this time. That's... It's it's bridge boss o'clock. It is. Four minutes and 24 seconds in. We've killed the bridge boss. Okay. All right, hardest boss in the game is down. Wind Fox, remembering to go to the inn. He is now safe from another reroll. Matoya's is... Oh, dear. The that, Sky Maze that is on! Sky Maze. <laughs> that is Sky Maze. Ah! Oh. And, oh, and we have... Uh, entrance and floor shuffle turned on because that is Topher. That's also a deep Topher. That is. And it's a flipped, completely flipped Topher. Oh dear lord. He has to DM has totally flipped the Topher on this. Looks like the scaling on the pirates is up as they were getting two hits, so yeah. that definitely tells us that scaling has well, increased on bosses. Garland has just taken two lit threes to the face and is still standing. About to take third. Ooh. Dead. At least the bridge was free. Talk to the princess. And get away from this pack of horrible things. That's an enemizer pack. Yes, it is. So we know that, so that looks like it's turned on. Ale, meanwhile, ignoring the trap chest, which, that's the second one we've seen. A little disappointed in that sky maze, though, to be honest with you. And it is a shard hunt. The trap chest could have shards in them. That's right, this is a shard hunt based on that. Let's see. Get rid of the imps. Oh, Alright, we're about to see if it's both horizontal and vertical. It, it is, is horizontal and vertical. Yep, definitely is. That is a bonk off the, off the lock. All right, that's uh, that's gonna be a bit confusing. Got some gur wolves here. Eh, it won't be that bad. See? Well, that thief yeah. is taking a beating, <laughs> which tells me his agility's not that great to begin with. All right, Wind Fox getting the news of horizontal and vertical flip being on. Yep, yep, yep. Right, let's see what's in our first trapped box. They are shards. Shard. Okay, so they're, they're shards, yep. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Scruffy Ninja tune in chat. Yes, um, this is blind for everybody. We're all going in blind. And Ike, you're saying it's 36 shards. Oh, my. Yeah, it is It is a 36 shard seed. I was able to <laughs> count on the menu that is a... Even while it was up for that brief amount of time. 
Yeah, that's that's a full shard hunt. Pickles pointing out that's not actually that fun. All right. Yeah. Windfox gonna try to get the stop stick out here in order to be able to take down these wolves. Does get the stop stick out? That thief stays alive, but one of the girl wolves does not get stunned. Meanwhile, Ale is popping another one of these lock boxes. What do we got? Probably another shard. Yep, okay. Or slices. Okay, he talked to the orb. The orb is not indicating anything, which it shouldn't. Otherwise, we've done some very bad things to these flags. Yeah, but, I was about to say. But Ale is remembering back to his win in Season 2 of The Ladder, where he never talked to the orb and just randomly guessed which, uh, which fiends needed to kill and got lucky. Oh, but does right. Ale know... That the, that the desert is trapped? I don't think he Ooh, does. I don't think he does. Oh, I don't think he knows that the damage tiles are on. And extremely dangerous. Yeah. He knows now. Uh, slow spires. Looks like, the, looks like the desert didn't deal all that much damage. Nope, but I see he's do. I've done that before too. You walk around the edge of it, no damage taken. So what do we have in what would be Provoka? Elfland. Oh, very nice. Level 3 magic. It's a good find. Yeah. There's Warp. That's good to see. So is Quake. Also very useful. Cake Warp. Hey, there you go. And White. And Viz 2. Harm 2. But we don't know if Harm All is on. Yeah, that's going to be the only real question. And, I mean, Ale would have to buy it for us to find out. And that is a shard on the board for Wind Fox. Okay, we got wall. We get heal too. Wall, good spell, and they're not that expensive. I'm, I'm, the prices are actually quite reasonable. Oh, but hints are on. The elf and prince they, has the cube. There's level four temper as well as slow, slow two and confuse, which a you bottle. Know, not too bad to see. Hey, free. That's an that's expensive. A that's expensive bottle, but it is a bottle. That's a very expensive bottle, but well worth the money. True enough. Windfox, meanwhile, is going to try to stop Garland. Oh, he checks out the armor. Uh, five, uh, five plus five cap. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, that's pretty good absorb if you really take a yeah, look at it. It is. Now, does he check the pub to see who he's got for recruits? I think he would. Let's see. Yep. Hire a fighter. Um, nope, there is no revive. When a character is down, they're down. Now the question is, does the fighter keep the levels of the dead one, or does it come back as level one? Uh, it should keep the levels of the old one. <laughs> it should. <laughs> it does, yep, it does. Okay, so that's, that's not, a, not, a huge, not a huge deficit there, but it does mean... If a character goes down, you're going to have to find the pub to bring them back. Yep, and that's that's unfortunate, because that more or less is equivalent to a permadeath if you're nowhere near a town. Pickles Beer, is that a flag? I guess it's a flag? I've, I've never seen it, but there has to be a reason that he didn't revive the first time. Yeah, this is definitely an amizer. You shouldn't be encountering gem mirrors in the sky maze. No! Meanwhile... Checking to see if there's a bridge to the Fane. There's not, so that means it's time to go look at Topher and the Dwarf Cave. So while we're oh, while we're taking a look around, I'm gonna take a look and see. Yep, disable reviving at taverns is a flag, and it's turned on. I assume. Yep. Yep, you only be able. To, Pickles and beer, you can only revive with life. Which we haven't seen. So. <laughs> oh boy! Oh. And we may not see it, too. Yes. It just depends upon how everything goes. Yeah, that is very true. Alright, Wind Fox has picked up that Lit 2. Or Lit 3, I'm sorry, at level 2. Which is definitely going to be useful. ADR. Lit 2 at level 3, Lit 3 at level 2. ADR's blind troll flags vanilla. 
I think that's funny. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, so the boxes don't seem to be linked to anything in particular. I would, I expected to see something C related in this box. Well, it's Enemizer, so it can literally true, be anything. True. Oh, it's the. Oh no. Oh no. Everything is trapped. Key items and shards are all trapped. Oh, dark. Oh, moon. and there's. Oh, there's there a century. Are unrunables. Oh, and it's. Oh, don't tell me the sentries are. Oh no, no. <laughs> Yeah, the sentry's unrunnable. Okay, well, that's fun. You like to see that. And the spike and these um, spike tiles. Spike tiles have been moved around, but they're at least marked, so that's a plus. True. Uh, now, we don't know what they are. A-side, B-side, totally random, no idea. And something tells me it... that Ale is not going to step on those. I mean, it's Enemizer. They can literally be anything. Uh, Windfox finding out that the... Oh! Oh, no! Yep. It is not just shards that are trapped. What was that that he found? A cabin. Oh, no. And, uh, Windfox found out that in Toph Locked, there is the rod. Eee. And it has to be locked, because we've checked all the available chests. Meanwhile, those Germaduces... Not... No, that, uh, I hear that one was a shard, if I'm not mistaken. Nuns and deads gain EXP. You've seen, you've seen that, huh? Yes, because yep, they, they leveled cause... up. Oh, ghosts are unrunnable. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, maybe he did. I didn't see him pick it up, so he must have just left it. Yeah, I'm not sure if Ale took it or not, but oh my gosh, this encounter table is just a bit cruel. All right, there's the canal. Interesting. Um, come again? Hmm. Rando gonna rando and do rando things. Okay, they're not all trapped at least. Eh, whiz ogres. Whiz ogres aren't too bad. Should be able to take them down right now. Should. Should. I like, I like that. What? Should. Meanwhile, when Fox getting trapped by these unrunnable ghosts, which they're jerks. Not getting the kill with the no. lit threes. Saying no thank you, and I do not blame them. Ooh, Excal. Excal's nice. So it appears that the floor traps are fake outs. That's what it seems like, unless. Yeah, I care actually making yeah. a very, very good point there. Hey, look, it's our friend Jim again. Hey, I haven't seen Jim for a long time. He's a little out of his league. He he's definitely not home right now. He's definitely not uh He's not happy, I bet. I mean, seeing the damage that's going out, I, I would say no. No, he's man, not. No, he's, he's, not, he's not having a good day. He's not having a good day. And let me guess, this is another one of them beautiful unrunnables. It is. And this... Oh, that that Jamera's got some health. All right, Windfox gonna try some luck here on the girl. Oh, good oh, God, no. that was damage. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I think Ale already found that one and said, No, thank you. Oh. Now, before anyone feels bad, they both asked for this. <laughs> now, the only thing we don't know is if save on Game Over is on. That was something I haven't figured out yet. Now, Dark Moon made this. Would he do that? Probably. Did he do it? Unlikely. Oh, we found a way into a Cardia with a single chest in one room. How lovely. And What's the other room going to have? Only two. two chests. Yay. Oh, look, an Ar that's not an Argoil. It's a regular coil. <laughs> now, here's a question. Is, oh, no, I got my I answer. Enemizer. I think Improved Dark is on. I think Improved Dark is on as well. A oh. slice in a cabin. Uh, oh, just... <laughs> Now to make the run out. Yeah. Well, did he, does he not have... 
Did Aelma pick up warp? Oh, checking to see if there was a legendary shop on. Hey, there's an Aggie. A little early. And that... You're not home. You're not at your home, Agama. And that's, and that's the thing we also don't know. Oh, Windfox, oh, no. Oh, no. That's... that's... <laughs> that is... Get out of there. Oh, that is a party you do not want to see at the best of times. Holy moly, no. <laughs> Ooh, that is just... Yep, he saved. That thief is a goner. Holy moly. I gotta say, I'm... I'm uh, and you see, there it is. Hire a white mage. There is no option to res. Yeah, that yep. flag is turned on. Oh, that is cruel. I, I love like it. it. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Dark Moon, my hat's off to you. If you're out there, you're probably not. Are you? No. He might be. He's not. He's not, but... This this oh, is a moment that screams, go get warp. Uh, yeah, you might want that badly. Alright, Ale pulling the X-Cal. Windfox gonna head over to Dwarf Cave. I, I'm just... Oh, good lord. This is... This is gonna get painful. This is... If this isn't pain... Oh, wait, we're gonna see what's in Dwarves! Oh, Chanigan, help you help make them? That actually makes a lot of sense. Hey, look, it's the ice loop. Yeah, and some airs, which are the worst element element to find. Gray worms, that's not bad. I mean, to be fair, the airs blow. They absolutely do. Oh, we're back. We're still in ice. Now we're in earth. Well, now we're in earth. Is this lich floor? This is lich. No. Nope. This is lich. This is this is lich. Wind Fox taking the long route, but that well, it's not lich. Is it Lich? Maybe it's Lich, it we don't Lich. know. It is Lich. Yeah, but it, what if it's what if the fiends are shuffled? We don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this could they be could anything. also be alt fiends. Ooh, it could. But Wait. it is still technically Lich's floor. It is, but Chanigan just said he helped make it. Oh yeah, it's alt fiends. There's Beelzebub. Hello, Beelzebub from Final Fantasy 2, the least liked Final Fantasy on the NES. Lit 3 comes out for 230 damage. Flash is going to come out, and there's going to be the Improved Darkness showing what it can do. But uh, Lit 3 is going to come out again, going to use another stop. Lit 3 for 173 ice. 2 comes out. Oh! White Mage goes down. 2 hits, 2 damage. That's... Dazzle comes out, stunning the fighter. Lit 3 comes out again. 151. That's not going to be enough to get the kill. No! And we are gonna be probably booted out here very soon and welcome Saracen first time chatting <laughs> <laughs> oh n and no early open progression oh dear so it's so oh boy this is gonna now mm. looks like mountain passes on though that's what I was thinking it almost looked like the mountain passes on but we don't have a canoe Nope. Okay, so we're going to be digging, and we and Ale already Ooh. checked. There is no bridge to Lafane. Ale about to head down and find the Lich floor. Realize oh, that this is. Ike here making a very good point. We haven't seen if either of them have checked for the starting canoe. That is true. We do not know that. None of them actually hit one of those tiles. Oh, hey Ale, enjoy your Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Round one, fight. And remember, if he loses something, that's not the fighter. He's down a fighter, or he's down that character. Oh, there's now. Now we're gonna see if Improved Dark is on. I think it is. I think it is as well. We're we're about to find out with that fighter swinging. Maybe the fighter survives. He does. Oh, but down goes the spellcaster. Swing. Yup, it's on for sure. That's nine yep. damage. And that, that is unfortunate to see. But, two hits, 108 coming out. That's, That's not bad. That's real not nice bad. to see. So 138 damage dealt that round. Is he going to be able to get it? Flash goes out again. And there's one hit, one damage. Another swing, nope. one hit, one damage, and nope. Okay, so he's going to... 
A fry teeth first time chatting. Oh, set RNG might be on. Yeah, I think set RNG is on. I think that sounds about right. That does. Oh no, the mountain pass is not on. Ooh, all right. Chaney can give us a little hint as he said he he's helped craft these. Ah, Lit3 did the same amount of damage. That's the case, then it's on. Yep, Lit3 did the exact same amount of damage. I did notice that. Saracen, just to let you know, those are lethal damage tiles, too. And they yep. are... Oh, here's Ale gonna try, and... He's gonna take the monster in a box Ooh. instead. It's gonna be two water elementals. This is gonna be a little scary, well, but definitely doable, <laughs> except that White Mage is dead right off the bat. But he can replace the White Mage, as the White Mage is recruitable. So this might be our, this could be our progression. And anyway, it said RNG is on, Ale. Yep. He's gonna, he's gotta come to the conclusion when he sees 120 damage on the White Mage again. For the third time, boop. Ale, come on. It's gonna click. Oh no, you're trying that? That ain't gonna work. Nope. Ah, there he goes. He's doing the, there that, we go. That's it. That will change the RNG. No, it just changed who gets targeted right off the bat. Hmm, I thought it changed the RNG, or it used to. No, it just, it changes who gets targeted right off the bat. But that white mage is still matter. dead anyway! It doesn't matter. <laughs> and the, these things are thick. Oh, oh one down. Be. Okay. Okay, but he's lost his thief, and he can't get the thief back. Yet. Yet. He hasn't found a recruitable thief. And no, Saracen, now we... no early ordeals at all. We don't know for sure if all of the classes are going to be recruitable. True. We don't. We also don't know, as we were talking about before the race started, um, if they find a tail and get a promotion, what do they get? We know... Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. We know that there is a flag that you can turn on that has random promotion, and oh, would that be fun to see. That would be scary. Yeah. Fun. Okay, so Windfox just bounced. The canoe is not in their inventory. Yup. That means that whatever these waters are guarding, which Ale will tell us in a minute, good win there. Should be progression. Yeah. Yep, there's the ship. Yep. Oh, that is a guard trap. If I've ever seen one. All right, Windfox going back to Temple of Fiends. Probably gonna end up checking some of the chests in here. Yep. Meanwhile, Ale doing the smart thing and saving as you lose a character, you're done. But now, we have the canal and we have the ship. We can go wherever we want. And we have iguanas on the water. We do. Now, Northern Dock's on, Bahamut Dock on, we, we don't know. We literally don't know. But we did find guys. By, we found Onrak. By worst sky maze, you mean best sky maze. And there's the red mage, so three of the four party members that the runners have chosen are available, and Elfland Castle leads to Titans. Titans. Womp womp. Oh, there's this. There's oh, the hags. They're in the forest. That makes perfect sense. This is gonna be interesting because now the only choices are going through all the damage tiles in the world to get to Marsh, or going to Northwest Castle, or go to Northwest Castle. Meanwhile, getting ambushed by Gur Ogres with Flash constantly. I would not call that a bright move. But um, Tish. And Stinger, exactly. that's always fun. Yikes. Yeah, this is this is this is a bit of a dark. Why dark, dark? Because dark, dark is dark, dark. Oh, is it on? It is. It doesn't seem like no, it's on. No, otherwise, it's an encounter would have Oh been yes. Oh yes, yes it, is. it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is an encounter to get some EXP from. It is. If they don't have scripts, this is actually a really good thing to see. This they're not... is an amazing EXP encounter for Ale. Well, that's well, but that means that all the other dragons appear here as well. But it's but it's not because Animizer is on. We don't know what appears here. Oh my! I wonder if Animizer plus Shuffle Encounter Zones might be on. I'm thinking they might be. Because, because we, 
We saw the Jamera in Sky Maze. And we saw the Sahags in the desert. Or, sorry, in the forest. And we saw the Iguanas on the sea. Hmm. I'm slowly piecing things together. It's more fun when you don't know. Meanwhile, these Nagas are thick. They're beefy. It's a great XP encounter, but man, does it take a lot out of you. And he's yeah, out of, and I mean, Ao's out of spell charges. Yeah, he he ended up using all his spell charges. Oh, first and one's Wind down. Fox. Wind Fox has another group of ghosts. But you notice he replaced his thief with a double fighter. I like the pivot on that. I think it's I think it's a good idea. You know where to get more of them. <laughs> Technically speaking, you just go replace your entire party with fighters and do that. Ao, meanwhile, up to level 10, except for the red mage who hits the XP bonus to 11. Oh. <laughs> what? That's the best stair card ever. Okay, we're in... Oh. This looks like Earth... Okay. Earth 2? This is Earth 4. Oh, yeah, this is 4 reversed, yep. 4, four and 2 look a lot similar. The only reason I knew right off the bat that it was four was because of exactly how everything was arranged there. Yep. Found ourselves another Aggie. Two hits, 105 lit, three is going to come out dealing 89. Ninja is down. Oh dear. But this could get a little hairy. This Hagama is thick! With 37,000 C's behind it. Everything seems to be... Oh, for a copper plus one. Oh, with the hags, I, you know... They don't they don't seem threatening until they are. They don't seem threatening until they have nuke. Yep, or hit like trucks. I mean, they're going to hit like trucks regardless, because for the hags... Gotta whiz the hag. You underestimate them, you're going to die. Well, let's hope we don't come to that, but they seem to be quite dodgy. Just a bit, but Ale takes him down. Oh, for a brack stick! That's pretty good. Scorpions with Dazzle. And money. Three hits, 96 damage is just ow. Alright, Windfox trying to make it out of here. Did anyone. Ch did Ale reset out, or did he die out? He reset out. Okay, because I still don't know if save on game over is on. Saracen, yes. There are Mark Spike tiles with no encounters associated with them. That, there's a T row there. <laughs> I wall shuffled encounter zones with Anamizer. Oh my, 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 my. Oh, you get some of the most wacky encounters you'll ever see. Yep, yep, yep. This is, this is fun to, to see what we get. All right, so Ale, meanwhile, back in. Probably going to ignore that low room. Yeah. Brackstick's good, but without a crack into Brack, it don't matter. Unrunnable Saber Teeth, though. That's unfortunate to see. Yeah, you don't really want to see that. All right, Wind Fox going to check this monster in a box, find the Wizogers. That's... Yeah. Again. Yeah, again. I yeah, it's not our first time seeing them. And more poison. Gotta get rid of that. Alright, so we're gonna check what would normally be. Oh, another un... Okay, so unrunnables are definitely a bit higher than normal. Oh! Oh dear. That was a glance coming out on yeah. the red. That was. There goes your AoE. Yeah, and this could be really bad. Time to see if Soft in Battle is on. It is. It is. Okay, that's good. So if soft in battle is on, do you think life in battle is on? Not that we've seen it yet, but I'm just saying, if we ever do see it. I mean, it's a possibility, but I'm, I'm not going to put any shares into that yet. No, I wouldn't. Uh, if you I, will. No, I would agree with that. Oh, and the saber tease again. The encounter table is being like, you like cats? We like Big cats. We like big cats with really sharp teeth. 
Uh, especially ones that crit all the time. All right, Wind Fox checking to see if there's another staircase, which there will not be Ooh, that staircase. That it might be able to make it through this. You think? He might. No. He says no. Oh, Ale, meanwhile, has, I believe, one of the pure potions. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Even more cats! More cats! Ale, do you like teeth? Do you like oh. teeth with cat cats with teeth, bud? Because we have a surprise for you. That's right, not just one, not just two, but at least four rounds of cats. I prefer my uh, uh -oh. teeth with cats. Uh oh. That ain't good. That's not good. That nah, ain't good. No one wants to see that. But what's in the box? A slice. A slice. Money. Money. Some money. Some more money. Heel paw. He's looking for softs. He didn't find any. <laughs> okay, the wisdom and... no. Okay, this this isn't that bad, but I'm gonna nope right out of that. All right, Wind Fox gonna attempt the Germaduces again. Oh, much, oh, much better much damage better. taken. Much better. And they are... Uh, Chanigan, yes, I believe those Merc Trials are a troll. Until they're not, because, you know, I wouldn't put it past... I don't know if the Randomizer can do it, but if it could, I wouldn't put it past Dark Moon to troll with those. Oh, look, this one actually is real, and it's Warmack. <laughs> if... You know, yeah, you know, if it's doable. This one's real. It's Warmex, and you're immediately going to throw a nosebleed because of it, because you're like, I'm not ready for this! Well, assuming you can run. You told them not to do it, did you, Chanigan? I believe you. Alright, so he's going to try this with the hag box again, because he knows what's in the rest of them. Although, to be fair, that Brackstick... Might be actually kind of useful for that uh, that thief to be using. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. It's something. He's, like the thief's not doing a lot of damage. He's absorbing okay. a lot of damage. There's the unrunnable Jamera. Ah, oh, wow! That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. I think Ale sold the stop stick, so he doesn't have the ability to use it if he needs it. And he got the time stopped on the Jamera. Wow, that's that's big. That's a grand EXP. Oh man, that's a lot. Of, that's that's pretty good. Nice. I mean this. For this early on, yeah, that's yeah. really good. Especially because, again, Wind Fox rocking the double fighters, but we can switch them out. Uh oh, uh oh. Damage oh, tile no. heaven. With them in random spot. Oh, oh, no. That's Vampire, which means Rod, which we don't have. We know where it is, though. We know it's in Tove Walked. Uh, uh oh. Didn't heal. This is gonna be a, this could be a close one. Oh no! Goodbye, good goodbye, white mage. You are dead and not coming back. Deads do gain XP. You are right, Eichler. But how do you get the how do you get that white mage back? You go recruit another from Provoka, I think it was. Yes, that's correct. The, the, you can get them. We can't. We can get everybody except the thief at this point. And the unfortunate part is that, yeah, that's that's just going to be a reset for Ale. The unfortunate part is that if either of them run into a black belt, it's pretty much meaningless because you can't do your standard black belt grind. You have to get everybody else turned to stone and yep. then actually do your black belt grind. Well, at this rate, we know where to get we know where to get our characters turned to stone. Ale, me, we're going to go down through the everyone's favorite death tiles. Yeah, this is... Ooh! We have okay, a Okay, high sky, too. 
Hello, Metal Slimes. Goodbye, Metal Slimes. <laughs> Goodbye, Thief. <Hopefully. laughs> Goodbye, Party. Yep. They always hit hard. Oh, that's an interesting pack. That's an even harder hitting pack. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm okay with it, but just not now. In the future, we'll see. What's in the box? Ooh, unrunnable frosties. Or frost giants. Frost, frost giants. giants. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I don't know about that. Meanwhile, Windfox has lost his white mage to uh, these hard hitting ghosts. Yeah, some, some, for some reason, people seem to request that uh, Dark Moon make seeds for them. You I know, Oslato. What's that? I don't know why people do this. I, you know what? With I, Dark Moon asking them to make flags for themselves. Well, when Fox got half of what he wanted, I rolled the seed. Dark Moon crafted it, I rolled the seed. The Chanigan helped. Chanigan definitely helped. His influence, I can see on this. Oh, I can absolutely see it too, and it's glorious. Meanwhile, Ale dropping the White Mage for a red. It's going Thief Triple Red. Gonna, uh, they, they come with with one HP. Ale, you might want to go to an inn or use a tent. There you go. Does when I like the play of pivoting into Thief Triple Red. Like you're making a good point. If you have the warp spell, you might want to use it. Yep. And I think Windfox is a little confused here. I think you might be correct. Alright. Ale has made the pivot into Thief Triple Red, getting all those lit threes online. I, that's, to me, great, great play. Great play to get all them lit threes. It's a huge, huge advantage. I also think it'd be good to pick up warps. Yes, I would agree. But Invis 2 is going to cost him a, about a thousand gil. How much was lit? Ah, there's his Not warp. That much. Nope, warps. Warp cost him another thousand. Uh, 1600 because... Actually, yeah. 1700. And he's picking up Quake as well, which again, great. It's a... Don't sleep on Quake. A great sweeping spell. Windfox, meanwhile, it looks like going to take on Beelzebub again. Yeah, it seems to be that way as uh, Ale runs on runs into the Iguanas on the sea. Yeah, I don't think they have much of a chance now with a bunch of lit three casters out there. Nope. I don't think so either, and I'm thinking Ale's going to head over to Melmond area. Yep. I think, well, he's looking for something at this point. Melmond does have three spots he can check. Uh, he can also head to Crescent Lake and see what that's going to turn into. We don't know if Northern Docks are on, so... Yeah, we don't know if Anything. there's a shuffled chime entrance as well. No, we don't. It's a really good point. Ice 2 from Beelzebub, as we know, will come next. It's very painful. Now, I know... I believe Ao may have clued in that set RNG is turned on. I don't know if Windfox has yet. I don't know if Windfox has either. Because he hasn't dove in enough to see it. Like, when, when Ao went into the waters and got the 120, 120, it clicked. Because he immediately started moving people around. Alright, last lit three about to come out. Okay, so like you're pointing out, he did get the two 120s and left, so no. Okay. Ail, meanwhile, heading back down into Earth. Alright, Flash coming out again. Oof, but those... Oh, that increased Dark penalty. Yeah, the, the improved Dark is going to just shred this party. Yep, because there's no lamp. One damage. He's going... He's going for a Hail Mary stop here. Nope, he's, he's, he's out. Okay, meanwhile, Ale's gonna check what's in Volcano. A couple of, there's some bulls. But he's packing lit three, he should be okay. This chest is a load of bull. I tell ya. Now Kareeb's in the swamp. 
Yeah. I mean, they're close enough to piranhas, right? I agree. Is that an invis stick? That was an invis stick plus five. You still have the white mage, you could use it, but... Ugh, all the way up and all the way down. For 217 gold. Oh, worth. Fo well, totally worth it. Folks, I hope you're comfortable, because this, this could be a long one tonight. Yeah, this is looking to be a very long one. Yeah, this is... But it's going to be very entertaining. Oh, I am already lividly entertained. Same. This is this is this has been the highlight of my day. I spent three hours in traffic jams. This is totally worth coming home to. Nice. Uh, I spent five hours doing data entry. That's bad too. Oh, down goes that for that red mage of why? Why? Well, you asked for it. Why? So, somebody asked. Because for this. I said so. Find some money and some more bulls. He's starting to run out, but he does have his warp charges, so that's good. He's also got Quake in the back pocket. He does indeed, if he wants to go there. And the Red Mage has but, also gained the bonus to XP, so they're going to level up quick. Yeah, the only problem that I see, though, is since you cannot revive within taverns... You can't, no. You have to buy your spells again. Yep. Cash is king in this game. Oh, these, this, this loop around stuff is driving me bonkers. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, he's going with the Quake Strat. He's gonna have to go for it. Channel the inner Dengwu. Quake for comes out. For those of you that have been around for a while, you'll know exactly what I'm saying here. I know at least three people in, in the, the chat will get that. Maybe four. Nope, he's out. But at least he's got knowledge. He knows none of those chests are worth a damn. Windfox, though, not going back to ordeals just yet. Gonna continue through this sea area. I do like Gale's idea of taking this Naga pack with this with all the lit threes he has. Good experience. Plus, he gets the extra. Because those red mages are pumping 50% more XP. So that's a lot of experience. So that was... Yeah, that's almost 4,000 experience. Yeah, that's 3,700 EXP. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I think he might be... No, he's not going to grind it. Yeah, he's looking for it. Yeah, Didn't find he's, it. he's looking for it. Or he can find... That's what he's looking for, yep. I, I like this. This is a good transition from strategies where it's dump your party, grab a bunch of red... And there's another... Yeah. There's another thing here that we're not... We're not thinking of. If levels transfer, you could pump up a party of red mages as high as you want, and then just go buy fighters. Yep. But... That is a potential pivot that Ale is going to do here after reaching a high enough level. The problem <laughs> is, though, right now, we don't entirely know where the progression is going to be. <laughs> Not one bit. Oh no, Winfox, that's a locked door. You uh, you can knock, but they're not going to let you in. Okay, so Winfox is kind of sputtering. Because um, we, know, we know where progression is. It's not down here. It's actually... In Winfox, yeah, Winfox is definitely spinning the wheels in the mud. Yeah, he, he's got to make the play to go back to Matoyas, which is Ordeals, which has the ship. Meanwhile, level 14 on those red mages. They are getting up there. This could, they definitely are. This could be the point where Ale just kind of starts to put the pedal harder and harder and harder down. Let's go. This is last charge of lit, but he has houses, I believe. I just realized we don't even know what the XP and gold scaling is at either. Or what gets us the bonus. Is it key items? Is it shards? Is it just orbs? Yeah. I'll take in a moment. I stop in to think. Ike, you're pointing out that Windfox uh, hates leveling of random fights. Ale doing his thing, yep. I mean, the problem is with flags like these, you have to level on the random fight, so yep. otherwise you're not going to get anywhere. This is true. Ale taking some time. There we go. So I will point out that we are. 
Uh, 47 minutes into the seed and have found a bridge, a ship, and a canal. And that is it. And a bottle. Oh, we do it. We bought the bottle. Didn't find that. We got lucky. Okay, so he does have houses, so he's gonna go in and do his thing. Hey, having to buy the bottle counts as finding it. I suppose. Which, keep in mind, that's also the vanilla caravan shop item. Is this even randomized? Definitely. That's exactly what I was about to say. Well, most definitely is, considering you don't usually see that T-Row inside of Bahamut's tunnel. Nah, it's it's not randomized at all. No. -uh. Not a bit, not a bit. Alright, AO I think is done and is gonna make a dive. He's got the, he's got I mean... he's got good levels now. He's got more charges of warp, he's got more charges of quake. There's those saber teas that I'm sure he's so happy to see. Pulling out the quakes. Yep. Ineffective. Ineffective, ineffective. Oh. Round two fell into crack. Ineffective, round three, ineffective. And... Plant. No, bad. You get glance now. And stinger. And Quake 2 fell into crack. Terminate it. Uh, oh, did even you see that? character is still getting XP. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay. I... Well, nope. So the black belt grind is totally off the table. You are not doing that at all. So black belt. The black belt grind only happens if, oh, I don't know. You have four red mages. Yeah, this is, yeah, I said that's not going to work. This is interesting. That's one word. That's one word you could use. Hilarious is another. Inf Hilarious is a more apropos word. Infuriating for some of our runners, I'm quite certain. They'll just re reset out or get booted out. Oh, you ran. Out of, uh, I think you ran out. He, of, he reset out. I think you ran out of consumables. Yeah. Wind Fox has indeed. Wind Fox has completely forgotten, forgotten ordeals, and unfortunately. It's... It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Because that box in Ordeals holding the ship prior to the throne itself is... Yep. Absolutely necessary. But, when Fox is going to check to see if the land bridge to Lafayne is on, which I do appreciate this play. I do. Yep. I already did it, though we did check, and there was nothing there. I will point out that this is not the first time we have seen a blind, or what I call a dark, dark moon flag set. He has done this for another challenge. That was actually Ale and Phoenix, where Phoenix took the crown from Ale. So there is a precedent here. Why people keep asking for it, though, is still a mystery. I see what you did there. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. I, I... Oh, arachnids have lit, too. Oh, lovely. That's just what you want to see. And That's... Wind Fox is all the way back at Temple of Fiends. I guess we call it a, ju a junior uh, Danny play. Not necessarily as Oh, 100% so. Oh, Wind Fox, just go back to Matoya. All you have to do, Wind Fox, is go to Matoya and you'll have your ship. All right, Ale, back in Volcano to check a few more of these. Monster in a box? And the... What? A century. Guards, they don't stand around for days, they stand around for centuries. But um Tish. Nah, I went far. Phoenix, that was for you. See out there? Yeah, he's out there. He'll be he'll be happy to hear that. Alright, we're gonna check another trap box. What's in this one? Another century! Another century! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there is the legends of, I believe it was an Anklo or maybe an Iron Gold Seed uh, being trapped by a sentry and all you had was crappy nunchucks you could use. Oh, Wind Fox has uh, Ikira has pointed out that Wind Fox has determined it is set RNG. And Sarah's. Alright, oh. And that was a pro ring. That was a pro ring. I guess we can't use a pro ring. He doesn't have a white mage anymore, but they can't. I was about to say, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a white mage. Not anymore. Oh, I soared for Wind Fox there. But not progression. Kate coming out. I don't think it's... Does it actually... I, I'm... Does it affect images, though? 
I don't think so. It hasn't so far. I think it's a three and two fifty six. Hey, I'll just run, my friend. He can't. Oh, it's tra it's trap box. Yep. Oh well, I can't run from that then. Ice two ball. Ice there. two ball. That's good to see. There is something for that that poor, relatively useless thief to do. And now it's gonna be time to warp out of here and save that. Yeah, please. Yeah. Well, it depends. How many quakes did he cast? Because quake and warp share the same level. He only used one charge That's on good. each That's red good. mage. That's good. But yes, I, w I would definitely get out of here and, and take that. Pickles Yummy slice. Pickles pointing out, it only works on the non-floating undead. That would make sense. Well, what were you fighting for? You have an ice gauntlet. Because no. sentries and lit three and yeah. ice is not going to deal that much. I mean, we will win Fox back to the chests. Searching, searching. Oh, more soft potion. Ale, leave. Warp out. Take your treasures. Interesting. He's not going to. He's going to run this out. And he's going to check the other boxes. Well, I mean, to be fair, he knows where the ice gauntlet is if he ever wants it. He knows what most of the other boxes are. He's checked a lot of them and died in the process. So he knows he's going to avoid all of these ones. But now he's Ooh, going it's a gator into guard. bad hairpins. Gator guard. A gator guard. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. What is this? A truck? Oh, oh no. no! Oh, you got that. No, 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 no. Windfox, meanwhile, is getting the point where it's like, what am I missing? Oh, I gotta fight these ones, though. Gotta fight these yep. guys. And instead of using up charges, he's going to conserve them and make use of the Ice 2 gauntlet. He has but which... one left. So I don't blame him. Yeah, and if he runs into a sentry, then uh, he's definitely going to need it for that. Yep, that those sentries hit like trucks, and you don't want to see them. Come on, go north. Go north, Wind Fox. North. Matoya's cave is right there. Nope, he is not going to Matoya's. He has completely forgotten about Matoya's oh, actually existing. Oh, no. No. You hate to see it, because, like, we've all been there. We've all done it, you know what I mean? It always feels bad to have that happen. Always does. Always. always. Just, oh. So meanwhile, we're going to check these trapped ones up here. Probably a sentry. Not nope, more bull. Yeah, conserve your charges. You got to keep them. You know... Ale doesn't have time for this bull. Someone had to say it. I just didn't know where it was going to come from, me or you. Or Phoenix, if Phoenix were paying attention. He's here. You know, you know he's here. Oh yeah, he's just waiting for the right time to strike. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the chat just to see. More images. This is just... Oh, it's painful at this, this point. Because the thing this is... This is unfortunate. Well, the thing is, we don't even know if anything is in these boxes because Dark Moon trapped them randomly. Wind Fox, meanwhile, still searching. Eventually, Wind Fox will find what he's missing. It's going to take a lot of time, but he absolutely will. He's just got to clear his head and actually make it happen. Yeah. Although I'm wondering if he saw the bottle for sale in the item shop. He did. That's what he's going for. He wanted the money for it. He just has enough. Oh, thank goodness. There's okay, oh, Oxyale. Okay. Hey, look at that. We've We're an hour 56 in. 56 minutes in. Four key items! We did it! We did it, chat! Give us a, give a round we of did it. Give a round of applause to AL for finally getting us out of this loop. And we know where Onrak is. And oh, we do! We do. This could be something? As to what that something is, be. I have no idea. Alright, what's in the last trap box? 
Is it money? Is it the floater? No, it's a silver dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ale doing the right thing, getting out of there and housing up and going back in to tr see what's next. I think we finally have one fox going in the correct direction. Oh yes, finally yes. Go in fox, go. All right, so Winfox will find his ship and will then begin his progression into whatever the nightmare that Ale has found. Or we could see what's out in the rest of the world. That is true. I mean, there are two towns and two other entrances still available. No, Winfox, there's only one exit from the maze. It's not a great one, we know. Wait, where was Ordeals again? That was Matoya's. Dwarf Cave. Dwarf Cave, that was it. It was Dwarf Deals. Alright. Well, Ale is going to take us through the horizontally and vertically flipped Earth 3. Yes. No rod. We know where it is, but it's definitely key locked. This is delicious, said nobody ever. Hey, flame armor plus one, nice to see. Too bad we can't use it. Oh, uh, I... That's, I mean... It's not... Great. It's... It's not great. <laughs> yeah, you and I are both like, I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, it's... It's like... Just weird. You don't expect to see sharks hanging out with a bunch of undead. No kidding there. Oh, empty. Out of bounds, bat. Yeah, there was out of bounds, bat, and uh, love, oh, love it. TFC had absolutely nothing. Asher Trunk has a box. The scorpions, which are never fun to fight. I don't like seeing them ever. That's one reason why, right there. But, but what about sea scorpions? They're worse. My last Lefanian ladder run when I had the challenge of Maddie, I lost a white mage to the lobsters more than once, and it was not pleasant. Woohoo! Oh, oh! That's a big find. That's a very good thing. And in this shirt, which the fighter Ailing. could actually equip normally. It, yeah. But he doesn't have any fighter, he chucked him. Ale making the right play, though, to go check that lone room that normally would have nothing but bats. Crawls and a sorcerer. Yeah, I don't like sorcerers. This is an, this is an interesting pack. All right, Windfox going to attempt Beelzebub again. Or as he's actually listed in this Beelzebub... Or deals is at Canary a Castle. Thank uh, you, I care. Well, that should be an easy one to find. Gonna try to quake him? And he got him! Oh, in the crack! Let's go! Windfox! Taking down the first fiend for, I assume, two shards. Yep. Nice job! Alright, now, please go back to Canary and go... Ooh, Arachnids. Ale's not having fun with this. At all. That's a big pack. But he fights back with his own lightning power! And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, oh no, 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 no. Not like no, this. No, no. Uh, like th no! <laughs> not like uh... that. Oh. Well, at least he knows that nothing else is required from there. He... True. I believe he still has the Oxy Ale in tow. Yes, he did. He warped out with the Oxy Ale. Okay, so we're, we're going to check what's up here now. All right, Windfox, finally, taking yes, on the waters. There we are. Water swings at the white mage. Does not kill off the bat. Wow. All right. That's not bad. Windfox actually sitting in a pretty good spot here to take out these water elementals. Yes. This is actually looking better for him than it was for uh, poor Ale. Yep. Now, Heal 2 going to come out. Now, normally they'll which... swing for the second slot. All right. Yep. 107. 
Hey, the he's, end. all right. When there Fox, it is. When Fox has done it, he's punched his ticket. He has his ship. At one hour, two minutes, we are sh we are ships ahoy. We are able to sail the open seas. An ale finds a slice. Of life? I was going to say pizza, but slice of life works good, too. So that's... I mean, one of to be fair, I am making an anime category oh, reference. I, I know, I know. And Caleb's not in the room, so I can't make a, a brown sauce joke. I know, right? Oh, I, did, I don't think Wind Fox would have forfeited. Wind Fox, no. Wind Fox is one of the, is a runner that, generally speaking, unless he's no season like, unless he knows the other player is finished and he's pretty far out, he's gonna go to the end. Yeah, Wind Fox will not forfeit that easily. No, I think I've only seen him forfeit once or twice. I've only ever seen him forfeit twice. Yeah, I know one was against. I know one was winter tournament against me. That's one. The other was. <laughs> well, yes, he does. I care with you guys. With you, he does. Yes. Um. Though I also know he's forfeit quite a bit in LTTPR, which is another rando that he's spent a lot of time playing. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. But when it comes to this, I haven't seen him forfeit very many times. Oh. That's a... Oh! That's an XP oh! boost. That is a huge XP boost if you can kill these. Double. Get it, Ale. Come get on. Get it. Come on. Oh, there, go no, there goes the ninja, but he'll still get the XP. That's fine. Uh, is it, though? Because we don't know how to replace them. It's still fine. As long as these reds survive, that's all that matters. That's true. We're going to keep chucking lightning. Chuck that lightning. Oh, no. What? No. Nope. No. Okay. But that... That's valuable. That is... If we had fire, that'd be even better right there. That'd be a... That is extra big value. Gonna heal up. Oh, and we have the silent glitch. Oh, here we go. And when Viz is gonna try to get his defense up. I, li I like this play. I, I do too, because... I like the pivot. That's t three stacks of Invis is one and a half stacks of Ruse. And these T-Rexes, eh. I mean, even though they are ac very, very accurate, after, I think, four, they shouldn't be able to hit. It's going to be a crit-only situation. Nope, there goes the misses. All right, I think Ale is sitting pretty... Wind Fox Meal has found the grind that uh, Ale had used. Will he take it? Seems to be. Now, he doesn't have as many casters, so it's going to be a bit of a longer grind. Meanwhile, but he is going to make use of that stop stick. Yep, he does sell the stop stick, which Ale just said, yep, sell on that. These are some thick, rare blue stakes. But they're not blue, they're red. That's why I said they're rare. They're angie. Yeah. They are is a pain for poor Ale right now. All right, he's down one. Are we going to see the second go down? I got to. They look to just be punchy. That's it. Boom! That's a big chunk. Man, not as much as you'd, not as much as you'd like to see for a slice. It's still 5,000. True. And... Onto the reds. That's right. Yeah, the red mages. Pop that house. Head back in. Save your levels. Check what's in the rest of them. Watch it be another one. Nah, it's just a big eye. Nah, just a big eye. Yeah, screw that thing. Just kill it. When Fox looking at all these X's being like, Man, these are real. Uh, or are they? Again, I don't necessarily know if the randomizer can do that. If it can't, I might look at how to do that, because that'd be hilarious. If you look, if you find out how to do that, that would be amazing. Oh my oh goodness. Oh boy, there's a double gas D. And again, here come the Invis cast. Hoping they don't have a script. Here's even more EXP getting ready to be farmed by Ale. Shanigan seems as to I... indicate that it can do that. Alright, I'm game. I'm totally game. Blitz are going to come out now, but that Ice 2 Gauntlet is going to do some heavy lifting here, since oh, these Gas yeah. Dragons are weak to ice. Definitely. As I say... Yep. 
down they go. 20, 20, 20. Hold hell. Eh. That's not entirely too bad. It's it's not. It's not great. No, because if now if it was stun, it'd be more interesting. Because stun's a power word, and we don't know what the power word threshold is set at yet. That is true. Because we haven't found a power word. Yeah, we haven't seen Anything. stun. We haven't seen quad X. Well, how many towns have we seen? Just Elfland and Corner and Provoka. Elf and Provoka and Onrak. No one checked the magic on Onrak, though. Eh, fair. Uh, would you want to? You get all red mages? You're not going to learn anything there. I mean, you have all red mages right now. That doesn't mean that the party is going to stick that way. Oh. All right, into the oh. Oh. <laughs> It's a room of traps. This is going to be fun to watch this this play out. What's first one? Eh, this is quote... Ike here. You lifted the thought out of my brain, I swear. Quad X room, yep. Oh, nice. Got two Frost Giants there with the first Quake. That's, Second Quake goes out, and effective and effective. Third Quake, quake goes out. Got the other Fell one. Fell into crack. The heal two Axe. Nice to see. I'm gonna drop some more Quakes here. I like it. Yep. It's instant death. You might as well use it. Nope. Ineffective. No. Number five, ineffective. Number six. There we go. Fell into crack. One terminated. 21 on the 21 red. on those reds. Holy eh. moly. Silver minus three. Not great. You want something. Ah, wizards. That just lit them. Hey, man. Hey, Saracen. Sometimes it's got to be that way. Now, the thing hey, is... look. Two hits, 100 damage. Oh, there you go. Sun minus three. Great. I mean, it's better than that's nothing. a weapon. It's better than it's better than literally swinging nothing. Back to the okay. Back to the yeah, okay. So we're gonna not gonna be able to invis up because he's running low on those. But, so it's just gonna be straight offense here. But he does have the he does have the surprise. So he does have good. Yes, have okay weapon. Oh wow, good weapons. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And there it is. Saracen, you, you know you and want to. You know you want to. Looks like the last pack is another big eye. Those big eyes hit hard when they want to. They really do. Which is bad. Meanwhile, when Fox finished with Lich's, uh... Oh, ale. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Last house! Back in! Uh, and here we go. We're about to find out what the next floor has. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Cardia dead end. You, the Price is Right losing horn. You know, you know what? He knows it's there now, at least. He does, so that is an entrance taken off the list. But at this point, the only other place he can go if he wants to stick around in this general area is taking the submarine, seeing where it leads. Oh, he's going to have to. Just for my own edification. 22 for all of his red, his red mages. That's getting damn strong. Damn, damn, damn strong. Meanwhile, the Brax, that Brax stick's coming in handy. Hasn't done anything yet. That's going to be a lot of nuke. If it is learnable. If we can find it. That too. <laughs> it's at this point. Now, what do you think is behind the sub? I, I mean... So I'm going to go out on a limb and say something like Corneria Castle. No progression. Just pain. No, I'm going to say it leads directly to Kraken. Ooh, that'd be good too. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to go better. <laughs> Bridge of... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Bridge of Destiny with a required Warmack. How, how about nothing? Nothing. Uh, the scene from UHF plays in my head for free. Yup. All right, but we're going to leave the inner sea, and we're going to take our first look at what Melmond is. It's Melmond! Wow. Level fog. Okay, what's in magic? Tier 3, fog Fa 2, a rub fade. fade. Black magic. Fast. Fast. Sleep 2, fire 2, lit 2. Fast critical. Gotta F get it. Fast is 
big to see here. And remember, the black mage wouldn't have been able to learn it, so that's that's important. Oh, oh, I see. We have Zozo on. How cute! And and now I have the music of Zozo playing through my head. Yeah, it's a good. It's, it's a good theme. It's a good theme. It's a really good theme. We don't. We don't have the slab, but you can go to the. You can go to the armor. That's a steel cheap. armor for wow. five ninety six. Chain is... for twenty five. That's that's good. That is cheap chainmail, and good stuff for that's, those reds. That's cheap, good chainmail. Yeah, it's not even. It's really good. Meal and Fox taking a peek in the, everyone's favorite. Oh, found the gator. Found the gator guard. Love the gator guard. My new favorite formation is the gator. And it, and it actually attacked as gator guard this time. Nice. That's so good. <laughs> um, I, I, I am I am happy about this. That's perfect. All right, so now we're gonna have to go through all of this garbage marsh tile. Yeah, this is uh, the continent of death if you are under leveled. Not as bad as going to Mirage though. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh look, another Cardia. All right, how many chests is this? Oh, it's got it's got a few. Well. Oh, and Ale is happy to see this again. Oh. I I can hear Ale being like, yes! The only downside is, it's a one-time, it's a one-shot battle, and I don't know if he picked up more houses. I saw him pick up a bunch of cabins. I mean, it doesn't matter, because he could just run over to Melman real quick and heal True. up that way. But that's a that's going to be a big chunk there, too. Eh, okay, we're in, we're in minus three. Unfortunate and T rope. Mmm, steak. Gonna go with pure offense on this. I mean, at this point, with how leveled the characters are, it makes sense to me to go pure offense. Well, I mean, his his party's not that bad for levels. He's twenties, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think eighteen or nineteen on the thief. Yeah, the thief. The thief's the a bit red behind. Red mages are twenties. Nope, thief just hit twenty. Now twenties. Another hold helm. Nothing. And nothing. 1999 gold. Nothing. All right, on to Earth Cave, which leads to. Is that? That's cracking. That's cracking. It's flipped, but it's cracking. Well, it's or not it? cracking. It's all fiends are. We know all fiends are on. And since Chanigan is around, I know he did that. That's a Chanigan move. 100%. And I, I, I kn and I know for a fact, if he could f put the old fiends on that we added, he would have done it. And I would, and I would have enjoyed that thoroughly. Sandworm, you're well, not in the right place. Sandworm, I think you're drowning just a bit. Ooh, speaking oh. the Iron Goal. We're, oh. we're, we're back to the Iron Goal days. I see. Oh, not snorting. Dark is not what you want in this black set. We we have gone back to the old days here. Well, this isn't it. This is. Mem Ale was the this previous was... champion. That's true. Boom and Viz up. Ooh, that ice. And... Is... Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! They have an ability script. It's time to kill them. Yep. Kill or be killed. But it looks like they've got quite a bit of health on them. Maybe. Okay. No. Nope, oh, he gets. He he does get it. He's punched. Okay. It. What's it got? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, womp womp. That hurts. Never feels good to see that. Sphinx worm. Not bad. Or is it a sand sphinx? Oh. Mm. Uh, scorpions. Blech. Less entertaining. As Windfox finishes up a chest of bull. Yeah, he's starting to, put, to punch his way through the volcano floor. Already down one. I mean, fortunately, that one that he's down is uh, just down. Was Temp that a temper hammer? That was a temper hammer, and Ale says, Thank you very much. I'll be taking that with me. Thank you very much. Have a good day. That's... Oh, that's amazing to find. 
but that is a great thing because we don't know where Temper is. We haven't even seen another town for a while. Like, is he? He's. He's going back to the Iron he's Gold. Doing it. I. I. Okay. But set RNG is on, Ale. You know what's coming. You got what? Two turns. He's just got to get it done very quickly. Yeah, he's down one. Turn. He's about to be down all three. Yep. Yes, Saracen pointing out in chat. Correct. Uh, the, f the first turn, that wasn't Quake. Yes, if you Quake, yep. it's not going to help. And for money, because we know it's cash. Silver plus four. That's that's good armor. Not, not a bad find there. All right, healing back up. About to go into another chest. Is it going to be another set of iron goals? No, it's a load of bull. Again, these bull chests seem to happen quite a bit. When Fox, meanwhile, taking a moment to collect himself. Recuperating and going back in. It's... Oh, we have an item! But we have... It's a tint. <laughs> but we have no idea what to do with it. Oh, we don't even know where Dwarves is. That's some interesting chest placement. I do enjoy the random chest placement. Blocking for blocking little areas. I do that, do that too. Uh oh! <laughs> we know what these things do. Damage. <laughs> Dark Moon being a particular fan of the Guru Medusa of death, so. Hey, nothing. Nothing quite like Death Touch Germaduces. Yeah, right, they Win Fox going through finding the saber teeth. Oh, he's gonna find a lot of those if I remember correctly. Meanwhile, we're trying to oh, quake yeah. down some whiz ogres. Oh, they have plants. That's great. I remember that. That's not great. I'm gonna try to quake him again, but instead fires out some lit three. And they're just gonna melee for a little bit. Lit three's gonna come out again. And just one remains the quake. Ineffective. And now it's just swing. Using sword magic. Okay. Well, that's the ruby. We know where Titan is. We do not. So the question is now: If you're ale, check these boxes, get out, save, and go back and see what's in Kraken spot. I would, because I'm. Ooh, I, don't I mean, you know, alt fiends are on, so you actually do have a chance at killing whatever the fiend is here. True, but on the other hand, based on what some of these have taken so far for hits, it seems like scaling is up. No. Pardon me, it definitely does. Nope, he's definitely going to take that out, house up. He did buy houses, he's gonna, and they were cheap, so he's going to dive back in and now go see who's, who has taken the Kraken spot. Show me Greg. Um, I would love to see... Yeah, that, that is a good one. Sh um, Shiva would be um, kind of good for this because you know ice water if it would be wrong actually i was little oh i was gonna say show me leg but uh, i know i i one of these days we will put leg in the randomizer i promise <laughs> we will have some fun fiends in there that are just ridiculous it's gonna happen so so far i mean so far no death has stopped me <laughs> i mean i care knows exactly what i'm about to say after i said show me leg <laughs> and there, and there, and there's the joke. Was it leg? Let me show you. All right. Gonna start making use of some of the tempers here. All right. So we got we got a fire coming up, but that's not too bad. Gonna start tempering up. The invis is gonna help. He's gonna he's gonna be pretty good off. Ah, good old Dijin. I love the gin. Yeah, he's even in even in FF3, the fight was fun. Uh oh, but he's got flash, so that's the increased dark penalty back up. But it did not land on that thief. They are very, very fortunate for that. 
Because that thief's going to be swinging hard very soon. But you got to start swinging, Ale. For that reason right Ooh. there. Because Fortunately, it had the pro... Fortunately, the thief had the pro ring equipped. He, he, he did, but whoo, that's not what you want to see. No, my, my heart sank seeing that. Good lord! Ooh. What? Six hits, 1,320 damage, and still alive! So that tells you right there, your scaling is jack to the nines. Wow! This might actually be as high as 500. I am legit scared and legit impressed. And if alt final boss is on and the alt final boss is fun dead, this is actually a seed that could be deemed impossible to beat. I was thinking only one thing might be worse than that. War Mech and friends. No, because Fun Dead, the Phantoms have such a high they crit do. rate when you have your scaling like that, that they crit almost every single hit. And even if you have Max Evade, it just doesn't as matter. we all know quite well, it doesn't matter. You're instantly taken down. Chan again. Did you want it? Don't tell us. Did you want it up or down? Because I, I know you were involved. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Saracen, Saracen knows my AP flags. And my AP flags are 300 to 500% scaling. And he's seen how many times I have rolled Fun Dead and, or Fun Dead, and it's been absolutely impossible to defeat. We are past the Titan. Let's, Here we go. Let's see what's in, the, what's in the box, Titan. There are two trap boxes here. Nah, zombies. No, Chanigan, I believe you. Hey, Ozlato. Yo. What's in your head? Well, it was zombies, but now I'm thinking about salvation. I'm thinking about a crown! <laughs> well, there's the ordeals access. Yeah, we have access to ordeals at long last. Oh, there's Phoenix. He's back. Stretching a bit too much on that pun there, Phoenix, but I still appreciate it. And Sarah's pointing out he is on the outer dock of Elephant. Oh, but Titans actually goes <laughs> to Titans! Okay. Let's see what's in... Let's see what Sarda's home turned into. Curious floor. You are not that far off. You are in Volcano. <laughs> Fair, fair, fair play, sir. Fair play. Hey, I, I had to take my shot at calling that one. Yeah, oh, just just reset out, Ale. Reset out. That's garbage. No one likes fish. Oh, there's there's Jim's okay. brother. No, that's Jim's friend. They were brothers. Oh, for, okay. We're back at volcano again. <laughs> we went from volcano to sea, back to volcano. <laughs> and to so sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, we've been all around the world in 80 days. Okay, to be fair, this is this is an Oslodo seat, so it's not unheard of this is going to happen. But as I didn't know what I'm rolling, I have no idea what I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. It started, it started doesn't want to be just... Ooh. Oh. A double temper now. Temper bonk and a temper hammer. That's real nice to see. Freaking sharks yeah. with freaking lasers. I, I think I think Sarda just got sick and tired of people just showing up and like, hey man, can I can I bore the rod? Can I bore the rod? So he's like, you know what? I'm done with you people. I'm gonna build inside of a volcano, inside of an ocean, inside of another volcano. <laughs> I like it, bro. The freaking sharks with freaking lasers man? are totally sitting in the yonder. Oh, we even oh, killed oh. a vampire! He ain't gonna tell us nothing! Okay, so none of the earlies are on. That means okay. that means Well, we we don't know for sure, but we, we haven't run across it. No, but I was gonna say, generally speaking, if one's off, I would put my faith in Dark Moon to turn them all off. Though I 
I also could see Darn turning Trolling two it. of the three off. That was normal start of Phoenix. Yep. So far, everything has been normal. Oh, Ale's heading for Crescent, which won't be Crescent. Ah, Luffy docks are on. Ah, man. Luffy not, doc. Luffy not hanging out in chat, but those that know, they know. Yep. Man, this is this is getting interesting. Interesting. We've been at this for an hour, almost an hour and a half, and almost so almost an hour and a half. And so far, progression has been uh, the ship. Nothing. Well, the ship was main was main progression, and after that, it kind of flattened. Hey, hey, Corneria. how you doing, Canaria? With some nice copper and pro rings. Finally, some pro rings have been located. Dropping all the chain. You gonna keep the dragon? Keep the dragon. Yeah, keep that. You never know. Golds the are gold not... bracelets. And Ale has money. Ale has a lot of money. Ale has a lot of money. And pro rings I mean, are this... also available. That's... This is exactly what Ale needed for oh, survivability. Absolutely. At this point, those red mages and that thief are gonna be much, much better off. Yeah, the, I mean, finding Canary here... Magic! ...is huge. A lit, Ruse, A fur, and a cure that doesn't matter. Lit, Ice 2, Lock, and Ice 1. Yeah. Also, oh. kind of doesn't entirely matter. But here's the thing. We haven't checked one thing yet. Do we know if the base elemental spells are actually boosted? I don't think we do, but he's going to go... Check the item shop real quick. See what's for sale here. Just peers. And check the pub. And the pub has. There's your thieves. Well, there's. If yep, you need to replace your dead thief. So Canaria is now the home of the thieves guild. Okay, but that means we've seen all the basic four classes that we drafted. Nothing else. Where are the other two? Is there a black mage? Not that you'd want it. And is there a black belt? Not that you'd want it. Also, with that character draft that they started with, I noticed it was a six-character draft. It was, but I didn't notice either of those two Those two in it. Oh, no, because it was Fighter, Thief... White, White, Red. White, White, Red. Red. Yeah. Okay, Fighter, hey. Thief, Double White, Double Red. Yep. Ao, meanwhile, probably had no other ordeals. He All right. Now... So, oh. the... Okay, <laughs> Osloto, hear me out here. Uh-huh. The biggest troll move yep. that could be made yep. here with ordeals is yep. turning it back vanilla. I was thinking the and exact it, same thing. If Dark if Dark Moon and Chanigan did this, I am going to say you have my undying love. Well, I don't think so, because he went top. He went one. He's in he's in the nine. You don't who cares? You don't want that. Okay, the one is not the answer. You have warp ale. Come on, use the warp. I think he wants to conserve his charges since it also shares a slot with Quake. Oh, there's lobsters. Hi, lobsters. How are you doing? No. Meanwhile, Windfox not having fun with that century, who has wiped his entire party. And is about to Except finish it. for the white mage. I don't think the white mage has long to live. Nope. Ale is out of the maze. Windfox... Taking a moment to uh, have to breathe, get your senses amongst yourself. Um, I think that's actually Wind Fox forfeiting. I believe you are correct. Um, yeah, that that uh. Yeah, that... Oh my... That's a slab. Yeah, that that was when Fox forfeiting. That certainly was. Well, we still have Ale to watch for now. But, based on the rules that I'm aware of of this thing, a forfeit means that, that the Opal will continue to remain in Ale's possession. No, uh, Chanigan says Ale still has to finish? Chanigan, as, yeah. as the member... As a standing member of the latter uh, committee, what happens if they both forfeit because I haven't seen that before we'll, we'll wait for the response 
Yeah, I, I was wondering the exact same thing. Does it just go back but... to neutral, or do they both go down a rank? <laughs> Fire Elemental's coming out. Oh, Chanigan doesn't seem to know. This is good. Oh, this would be fun. Oh, no. You're telling me they both go down a rank for forfeiting. That's an idea. Listen, do not listen to me. He found the chime. Pro that, that, that's something. That makes me really wonder if Northern Docks are on. I'm thinking it might be. I mean, with how everything is playing out, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. And we don't even know if the chime... We don't have to ch shuffle the access, I mean... I'm gonna see this, if he's... I'm... F Fortunately, uh, Dark Moon is not online, so even even if it was, we'll never know. He could tell us later, but we're not gonna know right away. Yeah, because because this, this is th at this point, this is this painful. <laughs> it really is. Don't get me wrong. I mean. It's something. Like I, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit shocked and a bit in awe of just how. Oof, that's something. But I mean, the, the the important thing we've we've seen these dark moon completely blind seeds once before. Um, Phoenix is out in chat. Phoenix was yours as bad as this. I'd ask Ale, but he's kind of busy. Yeah. Just a, just a little busy. Just ever so slightly. Hey, he's just, he's just killing more of those. It looks like Ale is going down... I believe to... Potentially we'll fight the vampire here? Yeah, because he's got to fight the vampire to talk to Sarda. We will definitely, have to, is... we will definitely need to get a copy of these flags um, without the yeah. check on it. Yeah, because un I... un unfortunately, you, there's no way to remove that check mark. Because I'm not even sure what all was on here. Yeah. Um, well, we know some things. Um, we do. We have some of the things deduced. Chanigan might know more than he's letting on, of course. He does. He definitely does. Oh, he's gotta. But we are an hour and 35 in... Okay, Shanigan has the flags. Shanigan does have the flags. Cool. So at least somebody will be able to tell us what they were so we can inform the, the troops. Yes. Because I am very curious what was cooked up here. Because it does look very interesting. Aw. Aw, pity it's of that. Okay. Well, Shanigan, you can always just send them to me and I'll, I'll, I'll have them. <laughs> Because, yeah, this is... This is this is insanity on its own level. I, I love it, don't get me wrong. It's very entertaining, but... Whew. Yeah, it's, it's just... Ale taking some... Enjoying the music, I think? Or is Ale hitting his head against the wall a little bit? Um... No? I mean, I think he's going to check one more box, maybe one more thing. 
I mean, he can check as much as he wants. Ain't no one stopping him. Oh, yeah. I mean, his Sandy might be starting to crack a bit. I mean, would you blame it, though? Oh, no, not at all. Not, not one bit. This, this is... This, this does harken back to the old days of... Our, like, I wasn't around for Iron Gold, but I was around for the Aranquios. Oh, this, this definitely goes back to the old days of Iron Gold when we really decided to go wild with them. Okay, like, Chan there's, there's no other way to put it. Chang has very graciously given me some of the flag sets that were used, so we, we can talk about it when they get into the room. All right, I believe I think that was it, and I believe that will be the forfeit. I believe I believe that that is the towel being thrown in from both runners. Get your GGs out in chat though to the runners, because this was. Nah, I'm, I'm okay. I'd, I'd rather just not. Oh, hello. We're in the broadcast booth now. Hi, gentlemen. Hi. We we Hi. We, we have found you and have brought you in. So, <laughs> okay. I, I need to ask if either of you checked to see if Northern Docks were on, because none of us really do these flags. Nope. nope. So I, I was I was talking to Winfox a little bit in the waiting room. Um, so having cleared everything I could, my next plays were either Northern Docks and or Progression at Sarda. Would... And it was, one, it was one of the two, because I had Chime, obviously, so I could get to Mirage if that was a thing. Um, and yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Let me open the seed back up real quick. I can At least I know I have canal and ship. I can tell you because I have. I know what the seed was now. I have been. Chanigan has let me in on the secrets of what was rolled. Oh, shit. That so, Chanigan guy. No wonder. So, <laughs> um, your boss stats were all 200%. Mm hmm. Your lower enemy stats. Dark Moon had originally started them at 180, they were lowered to 170. Removed almost every incentivized location and item. Mm -hmm. uh, Northern Docks was turned on. Okay. Uh, Mark chests were up to 140. Lock and Lock 2 were not auto hits. Um, it seems that uh, Chenigan wanted Unrunnables removed, but we definitely saw them. Yep, there was, yeah. there was a couple. Mm -hmm. Change just trap tile pool to shuffle. You were just moving them, but set the trap the pool to no trap tiles, which we've seen. Because it was yeah, that was that was that was a fun little uh, gotcha moment. Like, oh no, I have to step on this trap tile in order to get to that. Oh no, there's there's no fight. Like, oh okay, I guess, I guess the X's are just there for decoration. So I'm going to assume that you guys got Dark Moon's original set and not the modified one, because modified. Remove disabled reviving at tavern at taverns. That was obviously still there. So yeah, HP scaling for bosses was two hundred to five hundred percent. Um. Uh, it was your XP scaled at twelve point five per orb or eight shards. Okay. None deads gained XP as you noticed. Yep, that was pretty easy to see early and on. Your. Yep. Incentive locations were listed as Earth Post Rod, Volcano Deep, Sea Shrine Locked, and Random Sky. And the only items that were available was the Ribbon, the Opal, the Defense Sword, the Forpal, and the Floater. Excellent. Of mm, course. Okay. Um, Cardia Islands was also... One of the Cardias was incentivized. As to which one, I have no idea. That one. That one, yeah. right? Um... <laughs> The, the damage, uh, I, we saw that, uh, Winfox, you found that out quite quickly. The lethal damage tiles were turned on. Uh, yep. At four damage a shot. Northern Docks were on... No, they weren't. Dark Moon turned them off. So you had... So, so the, yeah, so for me then, progressions at Sarda, which was all the... It seemed like all the early turn-ins were turned off. Like, you know, Correct. you had to have Crown to get into ordeals. You had to uh, kill Lish to talk to yep. Yep. the Sages, kill Vampire, talk to start all that nonsense. So. All, you are correct. All were turned off. 
Zozo Melmond was on. We saw that mm-hmm. with with you, Ale. Yep. Uh, the Hall of Dragons. We both saw you uh, run into that. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like dying to to Tyros in your first step in there. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's always fun. The Mermaid Prison was turned on. I was half expecting that. I'm not going to lie. No, I, th- I think this... a lot of us were expecting that one. The real question I have yes. right now is how about that Sky Maze? Ah, oh, it's a great Sky Maze. <laughs> I was I was really confused. I'm like, do I go up or do I go right? And I went right. I'm like, oh, right was the correct right call. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, and, and there was a very bad troll. Um, the the War Mech was guarding the Masamoon chest. Excellent. But, but the Masamoon was removed. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah um i think i think in that particular set, uh, setup though i think that means warmex also removed because he can't guard nothing i believe you are correct um you, yeah if i remember correctly that's how it works I'll... so mm-hmm. under dark moon's flags lock and lock two were auto hit power word was at 600 uh life one only in battle which by the way um we actually pulled the spell magic out <laughs> Would you like to know where all that good stuff landed? Level I would eight. guess level 8. Yep. Mm-hmm. Level 8 white was life, exit, life 2, cure 4. Excellent. Black 8 nice. was nuke, quad X, and brack, and blind. Because we did notice mm-hmm. that the increased dark penalty was on. Yep. There so, was at least a, a, a brack dick, I think it was, and one stick, of the earth yeah. 4 boxes, but, yep. you know. So, Warmech was required if you found him. Unrunnables at 20%. The unsafe script pirates were on. Uh, Astos was actually shuffled and unsafe. But no one found him. Nope. He was probably started, let's be honest. Good. Probably. Oh, probably. That, 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 that would have been the next thing. Yep, it was a, a six-party <laughs> draft uh, with no no yeah. black belts at all. We're not allowed, but we never saw a black, uh, uh, a black mage at all, I don't believe. Yeah, no, we never saw a Black Mage recruit available. No, no. but Black Mage is Yeah, we also, we also didn't see all the towns either. Like, I was still missing Guile and the Fane. Mm-hmm. So it's very possible uh, the Black Mage could have went up there. Um, well, you were missing Guile, the Fane, and Crescent because you also hadn't been over to Onrak area anyway mm-hmm. to be able to see what that was. Yep, exactly. Ow. So Yeah, for, forgot about on, or, uh, Crescent. Meanwhile, we, don't, we don't talk about those dirty old men. No, no, we don't talk about that, do we? <laughs> Meanwhile, um, your Thief and Ninja agility was set at 50. Improved Harm was turned on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> hey, Sonny. Yeah. Guess it was turned on, which I, I said it would be, and it was. Random class change at Promote. <laughs> it was on. It was awesome. on. Actually. I knew it. I knew it would be on, because it's... Ale, I believe you did the last one, and that was turned on, but none of you promoted. Correct, yep. Yep. Um, obviously, you started with a, with a heel staff, which became a stop stick. Which became a sell stick. Uh, when have you sold it? When have you didn't? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, when Fox kept it and made some great use of it. Very and good on top use. of that, extremely good cake on Beelzebub 1. That was fantastic. Yeah. So... That was me using knowledge of saying that it is an alt fiend, but it also still retains some of the properties of the original fiend. Depending on which alt fiend it was, I was like, you know, if it's one of those that retains pre old properties of Lich, it's susceptible to Quake. And I just threw it out there. Which Beelzebub is absolutely one of those that does. So you played that extremely well. So the other big thing that we were all curious about, set RNG was definitely on. I think mm-hmm. Ale, you found oh, that yeah. out. You found that out quite quickly when you went toward deals and found your white mage kept getting hit for 120 every single time. Yeah, so that was my test for it. So it's like if if the same thing happens twice in a row, it's within the realm of possibility. After the third time, I'm like, oh yeah, set RNG. That's fine. We can we can work around this. So yes. And- <laughs> I mean, that's the nice thing with set RNG is that there's always a way to work around it, and mm-hmm. it's just a matter of figuring it out. Which you, yeah. both of you absolutely did. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of set RNG really feels like uh, incrementally solving a puzzle almost. It's like, okay, well, the first round this is going to happen. We know what what slot's going to get attacked or what spells are be used. So 
let me put my people in a position to where I can absorb the most damage and then keep his, everybody alive to see what the second round brings. And then once you hit the second round, you're kind of doing the same exact thing. It's you're, you're feeling your way through it to see what's going on and then seeing what you can do to kind of maximize either your survivability or your damage. And the one thing that we were all questioning for a good amount of time, um, disable a uh, save on game over was not turned on. Neither was Dragon Warrior mode. None of that was like that. So that was that's the entirety of uh, of your flags. So, what'd you guys think? I um, think they were interesting. I mean, it's it's uh, like when Fox and I were talking before we got dragged up here. Um, the, they feel like a throwback to the our Anklio days of I hope you have three hours to spare. Yeah, um, and we mentioned which, that too. <laughs> yeah, which, which is I think on par, but at the same time, it's like for me, like I was telling one Fox in, in the race room that in, even in voice, it's like, you know, I don't want to win because someone feels like the flags are too challenging. Like I want it to be. I, I hate to use the the, the the analogy, but like a fair fight, essentially. Because it's like, I know I have my weaknesses in the game, and I hate it to be like, hey, this is just, I can't handle this flag set, so you win by default. Like, that to me isn't fun. And that to me isn't what I want out of, like, no. when I race people. Because I, I don't want people to feel, like, demoralized or just kind of like, hey, you know, I, I lost going into this because I was in over my head. Like, that's not enjoyable to me at all. So... And that's and that's totally fair. We actually uh, asked Chan again in chat what happens when both forfeit, and he didn't know. So, uh, if you guys read the race room at all, we we had decided just to take this as a a wash. Nobody's yep. gaining or losing points. Yeah, we 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 managed to, 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 to yeah, see that. I I did read that. Um, <laughs> when Fox, there is a question for you. From your friend and our tracker, Ikear. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Why you no use warp? Yeah. Uh, you know, I yell at him a lot for that. I have He has every right to yell at me for that. <laughs> I'm going to have to start yelling at you for that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 there's one specific person that... They gave me a lot of training. It yelled at me every time I wouldn't use Warper X. It, you'd be like, use Warper X. I'm like, sorry. And I'm like, I, I, I think with this one, it just, I, I was getting so flustered to the point that I just started forgetting what I had available to me. Oh, like, I, I knew you were like, oh, something. definitely, definitely. Like, like it got to a point I forgot I had the bottle. Yep. Like, I noticed that. I noticed you had forgotten you had the bottle. Like I bought it. It cost twenty two thousand gold. We got it. Super early in the seat. Yeah, it was... Uh, the the idea was floated to Chan again of... You both drop a rank because you forfeited. I don't, think he, I don't think he took that. I mean, nah. at the end of the day... He laughed about I think, it. <laughs> I, I think either one of us can easily climb back up to whatever ranking we feel oh. like we need to. If, if that so does, uh, is decided to be the uh, uh, reward we get... I no. guess air quotes. <laughs> no, I don't think that's going to happen. I think he just said he just said that it was a good idea, laughed about it, and then said he was going to bed. So, <laughs> <laughs> that... yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what comes up in the morning. I guess. Oh, I don't expect anything yeah. to happen. I think it's a, a complete washout. That you know, again, I, I, you know, a, a, a very a lot of respect to you for that. You know, you don't want to win this way. It's it's you know, if you pushing somebody. To be fair, the, the, this was a this was a dark, dark moon seed. Like, he, yeah, I mean, he put a lot into I, it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the biggest thing, like I was talking with Win Fox, um, like again before we got pulled into the race room in the in the chat, rather, um, a lot of these particular flags that seems to hinge on recognizing the one thing that you can do to get an advantage. Um, or to overcome a certain obstacle in the seed. So, like, I think early on, or, or earlier when we were chatting, you know, he mentioned that, you know, he got the ship around the hour mark, and that was, you know, the, the water box from Ordeals. And it's like, you know, that was my box that I used to check set RNG, and having seen Invis 2 and watching them only punch for the first 70 rounds, I was like, I have a way forward. So, like, if you, if you miss the ability, or if you uh, 
you know, miss that clue and it just sends you spinning where you know you you have to go through this way you can't see a way forward, but your opponent is like I, I never got enjoyment out of those kind of races and everything, right? No, it's no. like you know, it, it always feels like, you know, the coin flip race or whatever, but you know, at the same time, this one is where it you make the right call early on and your lead just kind of like snowballs essentially. And it's like yes, I could have probably continued on in the race and finished out in uh, maybe another hour, hour and a half, depending on where <laughs> things lie, you know, fell and everything. Um, but at the same time, like, I look at it from the perspective of, is that fun for me at that point, knowing my opponent's already forfeit? No, not really. Because I want the race to be competitive, fun, and for people to take something good away from it. Um, I don't see that as, like, a good use of, like, the like, you know, you guys coming in to do crew and, like, you know, Bicky the race, essentially, because it's not a, like a, a an official, air quotes, like, you know, a championship style race. Um, so I don't want to take it to where I'm detracting away from you guys this evening when you came out and you volunteered and gave your time for this, expecting it to, you know, be something exciting throughout. Um, and at the same time, I also don't want to take away from, like, you know, chat and, you know, and, and Winfox, you know, I want to be able to hear what he has to say, you know, with his thoughts for the race and if it's going to be another hour or two before it gets finished i just to me it seems like there's a lot of negatives to continue on so like i'm happy forfeiting because i want it to be competitive fun and and to have that friendly environment where we can both kind of enjoy what we do regardless of what the outcome is and not to where somebody feels like you know deflated you know 60 minutes in 90 minutes in while the race is still going on for twice that long so and at the same time ale with that i mean you and i have said this to each other many a time every single seed you play is a learning experience of some sort mm -hmm. um, i learned a lot yeah it's that was a crazy thing just to, just a, a quick announcement to the to the lafanian ladder um people who are running and maybe who haven't seen it um dark moon has announced that uh, due to forces outside of control phoenix has actually dropped out from the league that means that chanigan is now champion so be prepared for that. You know, <laughs> I feel like this was like a long con play. <laughs> the like Shanigan can't beat me himself, so he sends in his lackey to do it, knowing his lackey's just going to bail. You're lucky he's already gone to bed. Um, that's, but, but that's, 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 why, that's why I'm talking smack. I know he won't hear it. Uh, I was about to say, <laughs> oh, unless he watches it back, that's exactly why Ale's talking smack. Oh, don't don't, mm -hmm. don't you worry. Dark Moon, Dark Moon sniped the gold from me by running the race because I was busy. I mean, let's be real, Ale. How many races have we run together that we've ended up talking smack to each other just to laugh about it at the end? Uh, I think the appropriate answer is yes. <laughs> that is the appropriate <laughs> answer. <laughs> and I see Dark Moon is in chat with us now. Congra Again, great job on the flags, Dark Moon. It was uh, <clears throat> interesting to say the least. <laughs> but, but we did all guess that you turned on the promotion. Oh, I have them too now. I have them too. Uh, Channing and sent his version and your version. His version was much kinder. You didn't go with that one. <laughs> you know, when Fox, you said you learned a lot from this seed. What in the stuff that you learned would you say is the biggest takeaway? Don't let Dark Moon rule your seeds. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. T time out here. Dark Moon didn't no, roll no, no, it. For real, for real, for real. Dark no, Moon didn't no, no, no. roll. I rolled it. He made it. Don't, don't <laughs> let us, don't let Dark Moon create the seed. No, but for real, um, there's a lot of fogs I didn't even know existed that I ran into. Um, didn't know you could do overworld damage tiles. Didn't know that was a thing until I died 30 seconds in the race three times before realizing it. Um, the mirror or the the mirror and flipped dungeon tiles. That threw me off. Oh, the horizontal, a little bit. vertically flipped the, dungeons. Yeah, like, like like that threw me off at first. So I had to wrap my head around that really quick. Um, luckily, I was able to catch on pretty quick because I'm really good with figuring out maps and things like that. I, I, I'm really good at re reading maps, so it wasn't that bad for me. Um, just experiencing flags that I had never experienced before. Uh, permadeath. Whoever invented that. No. <laughs> that's that, that 
That was funny because when we were watching the race, that's why I said to Sonny, it was... Ale didn't revive. He can't revive. I don't think, I, yep. I, I think you said, I don't think that's an option. I think it is. Sure enough. Yup. There's no coming back from a dead, a dead uh, party member. Because it has been so long since I've actually played with that option that I forgot it was an actual option. Oh, it's not something that you see used a lot. That's for sure. No, so, but it, it changes a lot. Sure Go ahead, Winfox. So I realized Permadeath was turned on the second I walked into Provoca. Went to the saw it was a pub. I was like, cool, recruitment. Is it nun's recruitment or is it recruit any time? And I opened it. And I didn't see the revive option there. I was like, I was just like, mm -hmm. oh, oh no, like th th this is permadeath. I, I I need to survive. And there were lots of resets because of it. You know, speaking of people and crafting flags. Hi, Dark Moon. Oh, that was a beautiful flag set. Always there. We've been. I, I've been keeping it. Keeping an eye. It was great. It was certainly, uh, certainly a, a, a an experience. Yes, it's called an experience. The entire experience was crafted around the having to replace party members at town. That was that was my goal was to emphasize that feature and build everything kind of around it. So I'm glad you guys noticed it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, Oh, final boss was not on in it, correct? Um. Hang on, let me check. I got it pulled up. Yes, it was Warmack and friends. I called it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, good. You did dead. not subject to fun dead at, with that scaling variance because it theoretically has a chance to be impossible. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm no, sorry. no, no. That's, that's what, what that's what cake is for. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's I, if really if fun. you get initiative. <laughs> I, I thought Warmack and Friends was honestly pushing it, but of the alt finals, it's the one that isn't too easy. Yeah, I, I, I figured that would, because when we talked about it, I figured that Warmack and Friends was the most likely. Speaking of, now that we're all finished up, I can actually pull the seed through mm. and see what we actually ended up with. Alt fiends, no black belts. Although I did, I had the thought about giving a black belt at the start, and then making sure they weren't recruitable. So if you lost it early, you were never getting it back. I actually like that a lot, to be honest. But I'm weird like that. That, that just felt like such a cruel taunt. Like you get an hour, and you're like, I guess I need to re-roll just so I can get my black belt back. No, that's where you keep your white mage and promote and get that level eight life and life two, and then be like, let me see if this works. Okay, what if you promote it into a white wizard? Exactly. Warmack wasn't uh, Warmack wasn't too 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 bad. His skill set was fire two, fire two, slow two, fog, fire three, fast, ice three, fire three, followed by inferno, blizzard, blaze, and scorch. Easy peasy. Uh, I didn't even think the uh, random promotions was that bad because at the very worst that you just kind of wander around and refine your guys and figure out what you want. <laughs> so So if you ever made it to tow for BL's above number two had less, had 900 HP less than Beelzebub 1. I did laugh at my Beelzebub fight. Yeah. I, I don't know how much uh, attention that got on the, on the stream, but like I, you know, did the Invis 2 thing, I did the Temper thing several rounds, I did the Fast thing, oh, and the Thief hit Beelzebub for piddly damage, like two rounds. Then he broke out the 1300 swing, and he was still yeah, and standing. And I'm broke like, broke out huh. the 1600 afterwards. Right. And I was like, huh, okay, but we've done like 1500 damage. He's still alive. I guess we're we're died a little high here on the scaling. Don't well, worry, Ale. I made sure to emphasize that. <laughs> I, I, I one three hundred. Huh? I think the health scaling was 150 to 300. The health scaling. Well, Beelzebub went 310. Yes. So you know, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your chaos at the end of it was. 6,000 HP. No, no, no. There's no chaos. We had Warmack and Friends. Oh, that's right. It was, he's gone, so it'd be Warmack and Friends. Ch chaos is insubstantial in this flag set. Pity. Cause, yep. Pity, because he started with New Killer and then Cure 4. <laughs> <laughs> which would have been really interesting to see, but yes, you had Warmack and Friends. Which would have given you... Evil Men. What's the e what were the Evil Men? What did they roll? Nothing. 202 HP. Crap. 
with one nothing. good nuke or fade, and they might just be dead. Yep, Warmack can. I mean, Warmack was two was two thousand five hundred and twenty nine, with like with like I said, nothing really amazing. I mean, Dark Moon, you say something about nuke or fade, and nuke was level eight. Oh yeah. Okay, that's not on me. That's on Let's me. Be clear about this. No, no. <laughs> uh, Dark. I'll tell you this. Because you put it as so that you couldn't revive in battle, I took what you what you were the spirit and put life and life two and cure four all at white level eight. As well yeah, as exit. I'm, <laughs> I'm curious to know how bad the seed was that I gave you initially that I said if nothing else will generate this will. Like Oh <laughs> I generated something new. Yeah, you And did. it worked. First oh, well. shot. First shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. GG's to both of you guys. I'll back back out so you guys can discuss more stuff in general. And have a good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us, Dark Moon. Thanks for Appreciate jumping in, Dark you. Moon. Have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, that was... Uh, so, yeah, that, that was your uh, was your basic go-over for what everything was. Um, Astros wasn't fun. He had both damage, poison, and stone poison. Ew. And poison touch. I think that's standard for the unsafe Astos. Like, he gets all the insta-kills, like, Bane, Crack, Stone, Poison, Damage, Poison. He had none of those. Glance. None of those. Yeah. All he had was Poison, Sweet. Snorting, Poison, and Stinger. That's it. Mm. As, I'm curious, because the pirates were supposed to have a script. They didn't. I don't know. I just used the stop staff on them, and uh, that made that fight easy. Yes. There you go. The stop, the stop stick was helpful. Yeah, because the pirates were unsafe script, but they did not roll a script. Oh well. I don't. I don't think that guarantees that they're unsafe. I think it just gives them the opportunity to actually get a script. Correct. Yeah. Puts them in the pool. The, the unsafe pirates just adds the pirates into the spell and script, or spell and ability script pools. The last two fiends you never saw were Kainazo and Salamand were the other two fiends. Oh, we did not get leg. Nope. But, thanks to the announcement that was done by Dark Moon, that puts Chanigan in charge of the league. And that means you could potentially see the massive alt fiend pool come into play at least once. That just means someone has to dethrone him for uh, the halfway mark. I'm not doing it. That's fine. Easy peasy. <laughs> okay. I, have, uh, I, I haven't beat him I, yet. I have faith that Ale will make it happen. Go ale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we'll I, see what happens. Well, I mean that's the thing. If you're gonna do this again, are you gonna go back in with another random dark moon dark flag? Probably not the best idea. I mean, so some. Th I think my favorite thing to do in the randomizer is to go into either one of two things: either the, the blind flags like we've been doing. Um, so like both my race versus Phoenix and my race tonight versus Wind Fox are the blind darkman flags because i like figuring things out on the fly um the other thing is i don't like practicing flag sets I, I i'm much liking it to like sight reading music i'd much rather sit there and try and do and learn it as i actually you know run the seed and everything um so that's where i find the enjoyment in the race in the flag set or the randomizer rather um i don't necessarily get the same kind of, you know, grins and smileys from running the same flags at 20, 30, 40 times to figure out all its nuances. So I think um, if slash win the Ale vs. Shanigan match happens, unless, you know, Fry Teeth or someone else jumps up to challenge him first, um, I, I feel like we're going to have to do a throwback to like the Winter Tournament one where we do like the Solo Thief <laughs> and then just kind of see what, what flags are crafted around that idea. No, 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 Ale. Because you got me thinking about this. Throw it back to Spring Tournament 2021. What, with the Thief at 10 Agility? <laughs> yep. Hey, listen, that was race number two of the Platy, and I took mm -hmm. that Thief, and that Thief won me that. Just saying. But I think uh, this has been a rather a bit of a long broadcast, but a good broadcast nevertheless. I think it's getting close to that time that we uh, give the channel back to nothing and uh, talk to our runners one last time for the final thoughts. So, 
Um, Ale, we'll, uh, we'll start with you. Still in Opal for now? Still hanging on? What are your thoughts on the seed and what's been going on? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been fun so far. Uh, kind of pleased to see how the, uh, the flags have been, I don't know, uh, I don't know, words family right now, but I, I like to see how the flags have kind of been appreciated by the, uh, Lafanian Ladder community so far. Uh, hopefully the current async and the, uh, the final two are kind of met with like the same uh, amount of exuberance, I guess is the right word. Uh, given, you know, the first race went in, I was told I had words. Uh, someone told me they had words for me, Maddie. So, uh, you know, I think that set the standard for the whole six set of flag sets. Um, but past that, I'd, I'd be interested to see if Win Fox wants to do this as a run back later on. Uh, some time of the weekend potentially and kind of like keep the challenge alive and maybe uh, go a different route with the flags if that's more what we want to do so mm, Saturday same time but you know I can go with uh, what's been winning me in my races <laughs> um, gonna go gonna go with a classic flag set oh I've been winning with the EF that's what's been seems like getting people which one have you been using? The winter tournament? Don't no, not the winter tournament flags, please. No. Oh, thank you. Entrance floor uh, shuffle. It's entrance floor with a bunch of other stuff thrown on top of it. Ah. Well, this was entrance floor with a bunch of other stuff <laughs> yeah, on no, top he's, of it. He's not, <laughs> Ale's not wrong. <laughs> Ale is not wrong. Ale is not wrong here. But yeah, the, the the flags I, I've been rolling with have been they're not too out there and crazy, but they are still challenging. I should say. That, that is very true. I mean, um, when I ran the first one and I told Ale, I was like, Ale. He's like, what? I was like, I don't, I'm not <laughs> mad. It's just, good God. <laughs> like, it's, it's one of those ones where you get the rage feeling, and then when you beat it, you're like, good. It's done. <laughs> Until it comes back again in six weeks. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the thing with Ale's seeds, though. With the flags that he crafts... Like, you have to be able to keep a level head throughout them. And having run with you throughout the years, Ale, I've, I learned that relatively quickly. See, I feel like that gives me a bad rap, though, because it's like, they're not always that. So I think I was, I put that in, like, the Ophanian Ladder, like, planning channel earlier today. Like, the first five flag sets that I created for this, I, like I said, I had a theme behind them all. You know, we talked about it in the, uh, the OJ Power Hour. Um, a couple weeks back. And then with the sixth flag set, which is the current async, it was like, okay, look, everyone keeps telling me how much they love, my, love air quotes, my flag sets. Um, and it feels like the people are yearning for them, so why don't I just give them what they want? So that's like the current async, but like the other five, like I felt, I don't know, I felt more excited about those ones because it's like, you know, I had an idea in my head, I had a theme I wanted to go with, I had a, a way I expected them to play, and they're not just like, you know, th that four, five, six hour long slog where it's like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to get through this fight? So, well, Let me be a little more transparent with what I said, because it's meant more as a compliment. Because, yeah. like, you know how I play. You know how much I think while I'm playing. And that's one of the things that helps me keep a level head, which is why the flag sets that you generate end up actually working really well for me more often than not. True. Sure. Well, that, yeah, that is all true. But I say we give it over to the challenger, Win Fox. Um, once again, GG's to everybody. But yeah, final thoughts. You know, it was still fun. In the end, it was still fun. You know, a little, a little frustrating. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I had fun. That's I took important. my shot at Ale. Took my shot at Ale. Maybe I'll get another one. I'm sure you'll get another one. There's, there's, there's no question in my mind that you will definitely get another one. The challenges are always going to come thick as they are. Usually everyone gets challenged once a week, and you have to take at least one. So, yeah, there's plenty more opportunities. Maybe you can take on Phoenix next and then do a beta alt fiends and enjoy that mess. I mean, if Phoenix, Phoenix, is, Phoenix is in copper. Oh, sorry, no, Phoenix is down to copper. It'd be Chanigan with alt fiends. Mm, yeah, that'd be fun. I, I, I'm pretty sure when I pinged ADR yesterday or t two days ago, 
Ale, your response was the gif of... Oh, what was it? I'm in danger. Yeah, I'm in danger, Ralph. yeah. Yep. yep. Well, you weren't wrong. I'm in danger! But I, I think that yeah. foreshadowing... <laughs> too true, too true. But again, GG's everybody. Um, I will say... Uh, thanks everyone for showing up and watching this. I know it was one of those last minute pings been like, hey, there's a race tonight. Would you like to see it? Um, thanks to Ike here for uh, definitely tracking because, I mean, wasn't really a whole lot to track when it came to items. We didn't see a lot, but hey, you know what? It was very big shout out to both of the runners as it was very, very entertaining. And big thank you to Sonny Rath for jumping in the booth with me at the last minute to be like, hey, you need some help? Because otherwise you'd be listening to me talk for almost two hours. But I think I will hand it over to my co-com, Sonny. Play us out. I, I was, I was going to say, do you not want to plug the upcoming show? Well, there is. The OJ Power Hour is coming up again on Tuesday. Uh, we do have both Lord Fizzle Beef himself and Channing it on. Again, we can't reveal too much. They have sworn us both to secrecy, so you got to tune in to watch. Once again, tomorrow night, Group A, the Duck Derby, will roll. And on Sunday, the Group B will roll. So tune into that. Group B, still a very, very tight race. Only... I believe six points separates first from fourth. So tune in and keep an eye on that. And with that, now I will hand it over to my co-con Sonny to take us out. Which you might have both of us again for that Duckling Derby race tomorrow and even again on Sunday. Oh, Sunday for sure. As, <laughs> as yeah, most likely. Uh, because, yeah, with the job that i am working i'm off weekends so you guys have seen me around more often because i've been able to come out and help but yeah osloto thank you so much for doing the restream and my pleasure let me jump in to run commentary oh, with absolutely you. what would i say no to that <laughs> right it's always a blast absolutely i care thank you so much for doing the tracking as your tracking is always amazing. Winfox Ale, thank you both for running this hot mess of a seed. <laughs> as entertaining as it was, but as frustrating as it probably was for both of you. Oh, no question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do remember that we have submissions open for our summer marathon coming up next month. It will be starting on June 14th. We have less than a month before that marathon will be kicking off and it's going to be a good one. I know there are quite a few submissions in, so definitely be ready for it. Like we mentioned earlier, Duckling Derby races, Group A going tomorrow night and then Group B Sunday morning. Be sure to tune in for both of those races. Our Ducklings have been doing an absolutely fantastic job in the derby group b being super tight right now that's gonna be one you absolutely want to watch but i'll take us on home for my co-commentator oslato as well as our restreamer our tracker ike here our two runners el markin as always much love bud and win fox much love to you bud i am sonny rath 11 Thank you all for joining us for this Lafanian Ladder Opal Bracket race. Keep the power of the orbs alive. Have a good night. And as our good friend Luffy DV would say, Final Fantasy Randomizer fam, we gone.